Well, I was stuck in Saturday, thought I'd do a little recon. Come ahead and see what the rivers look like that I normally run around with my boat in. All right, let's check it out. All right, this is the Nansman River, and it is frozen solid all the way across. It's, I'm not taking my boat out in this anytime soon. Look at that. It is frozen solid. I believe I could walk across with no problem, but I'm not going to do it. But if you look over there, you see a little bit of water on the edge, but it is ice underneath of that. So it's a solid block of ice all the way across. All right, let's go out and check the... Uh, and let's check the James River, Elizabeth River, and then maybe we'll hit Lynn Haven. Just out of curiosity to see what these rivers look like. All right, stay tuned. Nansman. All right, we're coming up on Bennett's Creek. Check that out. That is frozen solid all the way across, too. You've seen me take my boat out of there many times right there. All right, we're going to head on up to the, to the James River now and check it out. All right, here we go. All right, we're coming up on another section of the Nansman River. This is where the Nance River actually joins the, Chess, uh, the James River. And look at that, it's frozen all the way across right here at the mouth of the Nance River. It is frozen all the way. I've never seen it. I have never seen it frozen like that. I know you guys in the north, all y'all stay frozen all the time, but this is very unusual for us right here. It is frozen solid across. Unbelievable. It's frozen as far as I can see out there. It looks like the chains might be frozen all the way across. I have never seen that. All right, we're gonna check it out in a minute. Um, we gotta cross this to get to a point where we can get to the James and actually take a look at it. But I have never seen it frozen all the way across like that. That is amazing. Wow. Uh, I'll take another picture of the other side of the dance when we cross back this bridge going the other way. And you'll be able to see the other side too. It's, the whole bay in there is frozen too. Unbelievable. All right, we're going to head up. I'm going to walk out to the James River on a friend of mine's property right here. Coming up. All right, stay tuned. I tell you, I finally got some neighbors out here to help me out and get out here. Appreciate it, man. Thanks. And, but we're out. We're out and we're back on the main road. We're going to go over here and take a quick picture. I'm going to go down to the river's edge and take a picture of the James right here. All right, I hope I'm not boring you guys to death with this, but it's just amazing. This has never happened since I've been alive. 60 years, I've never seen the James River froze all the way across. That's the Newport News shipyard over there. You can see in the distance. Let me see if I can zoom in. That's Newport News shipyard right there. And look at that. I don't see anything but ice all the way across. Look at that. That's amazing. That over there is the Norfolk Naval Base. Right there is the Norfolk Naval Base. Right there. You can see some carriers sticking up over there. If I can see them right there. Frozen in in here. Amazing. All right, does this beach look familiar? We're at Ocean View. We took a lot of videos here in the past, but we stopped taking them when they pumped a bunch of sand up on the beach and kind of messed up the metal detecting. But check it out here. It's a lot of ice here. You see it's still kind of coming in here, but it is ice everywhere here. Of course, the beach is all got still got snow and all on it. It's 20 degrees and dropping right now, but you can see the ice goes out a pretty good ways from here. You still got a little tiny bit of wave action, but it's full of ice. You can see all the ice out in the water right there. Just want to give you all a little bit of view of what it looks like around the Hampton Roads area right now with all this ice. It's crazy. All right, does this look familiar? Here's one of my boat launches for going crabbing, and it's frozen solid. The whole creek is frozen solid. Look at that. Ain't putting no boat over in that no time soon. That is nothing but a sheet of ice.
Alright, we've made it to the bay. Not quite as frozen right here as I thought it was going to be. But we've got a lot of ice in here. Check it out. It's going to be a beautiful sunset here, that's for sure. And that's the Chesapeake Bay Bridge Tunnel right there. That's the first and second island and third and fourth island down there. It's definitely ice sitting on top of the water. That's all ice right in there, but it's not frozen solid right here. There's definitely some ice floating out there, some big chunks, but and it looks like it could be ice right over there in the channel. Right there with some people down there, but that looks like ice sitting across there, but... Hey guys, I hope I didn't bore y'all too much with that video, but I had to show up. It's a once-in-a-lifetime thing for this area. The rivers have never froze all the way across like that. It's unbelievable. And it's just never seen in my lifetime anyway. Maybe a hundred years ago it might happen. It's about a once-in-a-lifetime event. We had the bomb cyclone come up the coast there and through all the snow and it's right in the middle of all this freezing weather for, for the last three weeks and it's still 15 degrees right now. So it's still freezing out there. A friend of mine, actually his boats froze up on the dock and that, that can do some damage with the ice freezing in around your boat. It can crush it. It can tear stuff up. That ice is very very powerful to tear stuff up. So anyway, thanks for coming along and I hope we never have to do one of these again.